Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now, I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this Photoshop Elements effects project, we're going to be taking this picture over here and putting it inside some kind of a paint splash over here on the right hand side. Now the paint splash is all hand done, hand drawn, so you, know, you can be very very creative on doing that one and we'll see how that can be done and we'll then be putting in all those kind of interesting colorations as well and I'll show you some different ways of varying the look to get different effects. This one's pretty straightforward, pretty fast demonstration actually considering how things are on these longer projects. So let's start with just making the image larger so we can actually see the thing here. And let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm going to just pull that down like that so you can get a little, little larger. Maybe that's about as big as I think we can go here. So there's the image. Now make a copy of this. Just drag it up to the new layer. There's our copy hide the original. Now we're going to want a white layer in behind this. So let's make a new layer. There it is. And then fill that layer with white. A couple ways of doing that. One way is to do a layer, new fill layer, solid color. Do it that way. Other way is just to make a new layer and just dump white into it with the paint bucket. Now whichever way you want to go. We'll do the paint bucket technique. Color swatches. Make sure that you're on white. There it is and grab the paint bucket, click on fill, and that fills that background layer. We'll see why we need that in just a little bit. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to convert this to a black and white image. That's this top copy right there. Convert this to a black and white. And that is done up here under enhance. Convert to black and white. And in here you have lots of different options down here infrared, newspaper, portraits, scenic, and there's a, a couple more down beneath there. That's not too bad. Newspaper is not too bad. Portraits too dark. Scenic is okay. We want to have a lighter picture here because we're going to be putting color into it. So I think I'll just use the scenic landscape. You can always come down here and adjust your settings if you want to. And you can always readjust these things after the fact as well. For instance, if we want to do you know, shift how the color is changing in here. You can just grab one of these controls and shift it around. I'm trying to find a black and white that gives me about the same level of values as I have over here. And this looks pretty good. That looks pretty close. So there we go. There's our black and white. Now we need to create our paint splotch effect. We'll do that right down here. I'll do a new layer and do it transparent. Now the idea is we'd be painting black onto this layer and then using this as a clipping mask. I'm going to show you a real fast demonstration on this. Just grab the paintbrush and cut those swatches. Make sure that you're on black. There we go. And I'll need to change my brush size. It looks like it's real, real small. Let me try a, I'll go to 13 here or 19. Let's just bring this up to about 100. I'm going for a hard edge on this one. And it looks like, like the transparency is wrong on that as well. Let's just double check the transparency on this. Okay, so opacity, put that up to 100. That's good. Okay, I'm just going to come in here and just paint in whatever like this. We'll do a better job in a minute. I just want to show you how this effect works. 
So you have something in black on this layer. Whatever it happens to be, you can take this image and clip it into this image and then show the white around the outside edge. That's the basis of this whole technique is the clipping mask. So let's just go up here to this layer and we'll show her again. Layer, create clipping mask, and you can see what happens. It uses this shape to clip that top shape. So that's the basic concept. Now that you have that, you can actually go ahead and continue to paint on this to get just the effect that you want. And to make this more interesting, we're going to change our brush. So just move that out of the way. Look at our brushes. If you scroll down on the brushes and get way down towards the bottom, you'll see we begin to have some other pattern brushes in here. All kinds of interesting things. There are also other brushes under this drop down list. Thick, heavy brushes in here and wet media brushes. I kind of like that one. That might be kind of nice drippy water. Just a, a randomized effect. And I'll bring the size up to about, I think, 150. We'll do pretty good. Maybe 200. I'll try 200. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Now I'm on this layer, I'm painting in black, and with this one, if you just kind of tap it, it puts in a randomized pattern. It's a random brush, which is really interesting. And notice how as I'm expanding this, the mask is expanding also. So you can come down and just get you know whatever shape you want in here to show the the image inside of your paint area and I'll just put a few out here towards the outer edges just for just for effect. That's one of the nice things about some of these specialty brushes is they have this randomizing feature in them which makes it very very interesting. Okay so so far so good we have an interesting mask in here we have our image showing through the mask but there's no color on this yet. So let's take a look at the colorization on this. Let's make a new layer above this layer there we go, it's a nice solid layer. Go over here to the gradient tool. Here's our gradients. I just docked that up there for a second. And there are lots of gradients in here. I'm going to just stretch this up to the top so you can see that. Lots of gradients, any of these will work, but there are even more in here. We have color harmonies, color harmonies two, And our default coloration, metallic effects, noise samples in here, pastels, some simple effects, special effects, and spectrums. Let's do the noise samples. And let's try that one right here. And I'm going to change the type of gradient to a radial gradient. Let's pull this back out again. Let's float that. And I'm going to, I'm going to grab right up here someplace, just kind of drag it down like that. Maybe right in here. There we go. And just kind of create this radial gradient effect across that page. Okay, looks fine. Nice bright colors. But of course, we can't see our image. So now we're going to use a blending mode on this layer and blend this layer into the layer beneath it, which is this image layer. So here's our blending mode. And then we're going to come down and do what's called overlay. So we're going to overlay the colors on top of what's in behind. And there it is. There's the overlay effect. Now the nice thing about this is we can try all kinds of different color combinations on this. So you just take this layer and we can hide that make a new layer up here and do a different gradient. Let's try something just in the cools this time. Maybe that one right there, kind of purples. I like the radial effect on this. 
those kind of curves in there. I kind of like that the curve stuff. You know, personal preference. And let's change this to overlay again. And there it is in purple. So we have the there's warms and there's cool purple coloration. You can go real strong if you want to on these things. You don't have to use those particular gradients. Again, we have all kinds of gradients to choose from. Let's see what else we have up here. Color harmonies. I'll try one of these this time. Let's grab that one. Same thing. There's that effect. And then overlay. And there it is with those purples in there, giving kind of a multi colored range. That's kind of nice. Kind of like the, the warmth over the eye over here and cooling off into the background. Now if you want to change your shape on this, it's easy to do. You just need to undo this clipping mask and do a new paint splotch. So I'll right click in here and release clipping mask. There we go. So we're just seeing the coloration and the girl at this point. Let's just hide both of those. Do a new layer down here. And we'll do a new black on this one. Let's make sure that our color is still black. So window. Now let's go to our paintbrush first. There we are. Paintbrush. Window color swatches. Make sure I'm black. And we can now paint something else in here. Let's see what we have on our brushes. Just other variations. You know, so there's all kinds of different brushes in here that you can choose from including dots and things. Just you know, a wide range of different effects. Let's try something that's really wacky on this. Let's take a look at some of these assorted brushes in here. And those look kind of kind of strange, kind of kind of weird. Let's try a snowflake look just just for the heck of it. And bring the size way up and there's that snowflake effect I'm going to paint in here with this snowflake and then just pull a few out give me the basic effect let's now see how the image looks in this there's the image let's go up to layer clipping mask and it clips her into that snowflake effect and I'm on the wrong layer that let me just undo a couple of those make sure you're on the right layer whenever you do these things of course there we go so back to layer layer now yeah, layer six there it is And just a few more of these on one way out there. And bring back in our coloration. There we go. Now this kind of would work better if it was all blues. Doing kind of a wintry thing. So let's make, make a new layer here. Gradients. Let's see if we have anything that's all in blues. There's that, but it's not that interesting. That might work. We'll try that. We still have our radial on that, so that should do just fine. Back to overlay. And there we go, kind of a blue snowflakey effect on this with some interesting streaks happening as well. The streaks in there are from the gradient. This, as you can see, this is a much harder gradient. So there it is. That's the paint splotch effect. Let's go back to our original. Again, to move this image down to that one, let's just release the clipping mask, pull her down above this, and then we'll redo that clipping mask. And there we go. Again, the nice thing about this is you can take some time now and come in and very carefully shape this effect to get it exactly the way you want. You also can do some other stuff on this as well on this particular layer, on this masking layer. 
Let's go up to the layer and layer styles, style settings in here. If we do a stroke, for instance, you can apply a stroke outside that. Notice how a stroke is applied to the mask and not to the image. And adjust the opacity on there so you have that ability. You can also do a bevel effect in here. Kind of bevel the edges. It looks more like they're, they're drops on the page. There we go. Interesting little, little effect. You can put a glow to the inside, kind of softens things up. And there we are. Or we can do a outside glow. Actually, I won't even see an outside glow out here, but the, with the white, it's not going to show. So you have some of those options, and we can go even further on this. It's amazing how much you can actually do with this particular technique once you get the basic stuff down. And that's to click on the effects. And in here we have all kinds of other things, different bevels and so forth that you can apply. Double click and it applies that bevel effect just like that. Again, giving you a wide range of possibilities once the basics are done. Here's complex. Strange, you can kind of still see the image in the back there. Very, very faint. Let's look at our strokes on this one. No, nothing really exciting there. Let's kind of see what else is interesting in here. Image effects. Not much. I think we'll just leave it as is. Little double bevel thing happening around there. But there you go. That is how to do this paint splash effect with an image inside the paint splash. Let's go back to our layers again. And it's really very basic. You have, you know, whatever your image is, convert your image to black and white. Put a layer beneath that with your paint splotch, which is done in black on transparency. And because it's black on transparency, you can come in and you can modify this. Take your time to make it real nice if you want to. Just, you know, paint in more where you want more. Erase out if you want to get rid of some stuff. Let's just do a little bit of that real quickly here. It's my eraser tool. I can just come back in and remove a little bit if I want to change my shape around, make it more interesting. So it's completely customizable because it's just that shape. Giving us you know, a great degree of freedom on that. Black and white image and then simply use a black and white as a clipping mask into your shape and then use a gradient on top of that shape with the overlay blending mode to blend that in and give color to your image. So there you go. That is the paint splash portrait effect. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.